Hi, at FBEI Asks today, we are at the Grand Hyatt, and uh, why the Grand Hyatt? To introduce you to John McDonald. Hi, John. Hi, how are you? So, John is the MD International of Fifth Generation Inc., the home of Tito's handmade vodka. So John, how do you find it here in India? I, I find it lovely, except for the traffic. Sorry. No, but the people are always very welcoming, and we're excited about launching. What's it like? What would you think is the USP of Tito's against other vodkas available in India? Well, I, I'd say that there's a few key selling attributes for Tito's. First of all, it's 100% corn. Right. It's distilled six times. Okay. And because it's 100% corn, it's naturally gluten free. Right. And it's a very high quality product at an affordable price. Right. So, and then um, millennials, you know, they're not, they want to pay for the vodka. They don't want to pay for our fancy glass package. Absolutely. There's a man, Tito, whose last name is Beverage. Right. And you regard it as a leader in this industry, taking mm -hmm. the brand to so many countries. That's brilliant for you to come to India. Uh, I would just like to know a little bit about your thought process of why India? Why India? Because as I said, the, the acceptance in duty free has is, is been phenomenal okay. with the Indian consumer. But not only that, you know, we looked at the, res the acceptance in the UK where there's a large Indian population right. and it's been very well accepted there. And more and more Indian students are studying in the United States versus just going to England right. and we have more direct flights between the US and India right. in the cocktail culture so right. now we see Millennials no matter where they are in the world are accepting to cocktails yes and this country has great um, fresh fruits and vegetables and it just it goes hand in hand together Tito's and fresh um, fruits uh, preferential to watermelon from India so oh. I like the Tito's and watermelon. Well, that's, that's the story of Tito's. Sure, and uh, Tito is a biochemist educated, and he worked as a down on oil rigs as an engineer in Venezuela. And he would come home for on his rest and relaxation trips, and he would make flavored vodkas as a hobby okay. and give them out as gifts. And then at that time, in the early 90s, when he would come home, all his friends were into mortgage brokerage business, okay. giving uh, loans to people buying homes. So he thought, okay, I'll give it a try, and he hated it. He put, took out a piece of paper, drew a line down the middle, and said, okay, what am I good at, and what do I like to do? And so the things he was good at was he liked talking to people, specifically girls, and he also <laughs> knew he was good at making vodka. So he thought, well, this industry is a lot of talking to people. Nice. So he decided he was gonna start his own vodka company. He maximized 19 credit cards, almost went broke during the process. You're giving a lot of inspiration to a young audience here, you know. When he was in the process of making this, he, he slept on the floor of this little tiny hut distillery with his dog, Roscoe. And dogs are very much a part of the story. As a company, we rescue dogs stray dogs and then the employees find a home for the dog and then they drive the dog to the new family nice. and get the dog settled in. All our employees bring their dogs to work every day oh, and then we have a whole section of our website dedicated to vodka for dog people. Well, that's lovely. I also have seen that you mm -hmm. are uh, associated with uh, a, a charitable organization called Emancipate? Yes, that's correct. Spay okay. and neuter services for okay. pets. And um, all the on the website, vodka for dog people. We sell leashes, dog bowls, dog toys, uh, bandanas, and one hundred percent of the proceeds go to the Emancipate well, that's, organization. That's brilliant. I mean, it's it's really nice. part of the culture of our company, giving back. Tito likes to say that we're a philanthropic company that happens to make vodka. Well, being in this industry, traveling all the time, it must be really tough for you. So a little bit of a lifestyle uh, question. If I open your refrigerator today, what would I find in it? Five healthy things. Five healthy things yeah. in my refrigerator? Yeah. Um, flavored salsa water. Okay. Uh, watermelon. And that's uh, why the watermelon is yes. Yeah. Um, as a treat, um, you know, a yogurt frozen popsicle. Okay. And um, what else? Um, whole grain, whole grain bread and um, Sam, first thing I do every day is I get up, I have a cup of black coffee, and
and then I go running, and then I go lift one body part with weights. And um, I used to be a marathon runner up until two years ago. And is, uh, how do you like to drink your vodka? I just drink Tito's over ice. All right. There's one of the few vodkas that you can actually have without any mixers, right? That's correct. When Tito was set out to make this brand, he went around and he did research with bartenders and store owners. And they said, whatever you do, don't make a flavored vodka. Make a vodka that women could drink meat True. or on the rocks. True. And I think he achieved that objective. That's great. I think it's really good to know. First of all, the vodka isn't all that expensive, right? right. It's very, very... Um, it's easy for you to get. Uh, secondly is that you can have it without a mixer so you can actually enjoy the vodka as is. And thirdly, you've heard the story about the help that we get, we give to the pets. So I think that's, um, it's brilliant to have you know, that kind of a story around the vodka. Thank you so much. It was brilliant talking to you. Thanks for your time. Appreciate Thank it. You.